that you must follow after you have surgery if you want to keep a small waist. I have no garment on or nothing and I'm almost two years post-op, like I think I'll be like two years post-op in like five months. I cannot stress this enough. Like follow these exact rules and I promise you, you will have that snatch waist. A lot of girls, DM me after they surgery and it's like, oh my God, what do I do, what do I do? I have videos on what I did after surgery. And the most, honestly, the most important thing that you can honestly do is make sure you get all your massages for one. Like get at least 10 massages. Matter of fact, get at least 10 professional massages like every day after your surgery, so like starting. I think the day after or two days after you have surgery, get a massage every day for 10 days, like professional massages. And then after that, you could just do your own massages at home, like, you know, just like rub up in areas on your own or like have somebody else do it that's in your house with you. You feel me? Because nobody got money to be paying for professional massages like all the time. Like, you know what I'm saying? We spending all the coins just to get our body snatched. You know what I'm saying? Can't wait for the massages, okay? Okay, but at least make sure you have at least enough saved up for at least 10, okay? Because those are the most important massages, okay? So, a lot of people don't know that it's a fluid that goes into our body when they do liposuction. I mean, you know this if you do your research, but if not, then you, you're, you know, you, you kind of don't know what the hell I'm talking about. So, this fluid that's in our body basically molds us. So this fluid stays in your body for exactly 30 days after you have the surgery. Now this fluid is crucial in how your body is going to be shaped, okay? So the garment that you wear and having this fluid, this fluid in your body is going to give you that hourglass figure. Now once that hourglass, once that fluid drains out of your body, I think it's just like, like it's over with. Like you can't try to mold it you can't try to shape it it's not going to be like easily molded anymore that's why you're not supposed to wear tight clothes because because of the fluid is in you like you will like have like dents or something in your skin you know if you wear stuff that's way too tight so you want to make sure and another another thing crucial to this three step so you have the fluid that you, you need to make sure that you have the fluid in your body you need to make sure you get the massages and also you need to make sure you are getting your fucking garment taken in. Like, I cannot stress this enough. Like, this is the number one important thing to do once you just had surgery, okay? Especially during the first 30 days. Like, after 30 days, okay, if you want to stop getting taken in. But that first 30 days, first of all, the first, the first three days after surgery, get your garment taken in four inches. Yes cut off tell tell the cleaners you go to the cleaners it's about 30 to 40 or however much they charge you that's how much they charge me 35 dollars to get my um garment taken in and that's when you know you're going to be out of your garment for maybe about a, a day or two but this is why you need to have a second garment so that you can ha you know still be compressed and make sure you put your ab board on that's very very important as well your ab board your backboard and your lipo foam and make sure you keep that on until you get your you know your garment back after they take it in four inches you want to do this at least once a week 
for an entire month okay at least once a week an entire month now me on the other hand i don't even know how this is possible but i was cutting off six inches every week no i was cutting off about six inches like every week and a half until like it got to about a month and a half and then I stopped because like I couldn't take it in no more. Like they told me like I had taken it in as much as I could. But see, I couldn't get a smaller size because my butt, it was like too big. So I had to stay with the large, but I got it taken in as much as I could. And I also had a second garment as well that was in a size medium, but my butt literally bust out the back of it. So yeah, it was still good for my waist, but my butt like expanded and stuff. So those are basically the most crucial things that you can do like don't listen to people about waist trainers don't listen to people about all this like goofy stuff no i'm telling you the fluid from the lipo is what molds your body that's why they say make sure you wear a garment for your three months blah 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 you don't want to do waist trainers because if you do waist trainers baby you will get a seroma and that seroma is going to get hard and then you're going to be out here looking stupid okay okay so <laughs> don't don't listen to people that's wearing waist trainers in the first couple months after surgery you don't do that you wait at least three to six months after surgery until you try to wear a waist trainer really three months is way too early it's really supposed to be six months or later that you're supposed to start waist training so yeah but honestly i don't feel like waist training really did anything i feel like the steps that got me my small waist and was the ones i followed in the beginning you know i made sure i did my massages i made sure i got my garment taken in made sure i wore my ab board my back board my lipo phones made sure i was in my garment for at least three months well after the second month i started getting a little sloppy and like doing it every other day i wasn't in it every day but trust me baby you do not want to be out here oh my god i got my body done and then you're gonna blow up like a oompa loompa and you're gonna be mad you know you're gonna be mad that you didn't follow steps you're trying to go out too soon and be without your garment for a whole day no you wasn't catching me out here doing that okay i was on bad rest for about three months okay quit my job and everything you know what i'm saying because like i can move i was really messed up like i went through mine with no pain medicine or nothing it was just completely natural besides the stuff that they gave me that like you know made sure i wouldn't get like infections as far as pain medicine i went through that completely natural so me i was messed up i had to be on bed rest i didn't want to go nowhere you know what i'm saying but the main mistake i see a lot of girls being out here a day eight hours ten hours five hours without their garment on when they just got off the fucking surgery table and then they mad because they look like an Oompa Loompa and they want to ask me like, oh my God, why don't my waist look as snatch as yours? Are you following the directions that I'm giving in my videos? Nope. Cause see, I did my, my, did my research and I eat whatever I want and I still look nice, you know? So make sure you follow those and I'm just, I'm not trying to be mean or anything. I'm just trying to put it out there in the world so you guys know you that first month first month is crucial so this is how i look now almost two years after surgery after eating whatever i want to eat um don't mind my cat back there licking herself. Uh, well, yeah, that's how I look. And this dress is from Pretty Little Thing, if y'all want to know. But, yeah. So, if you don't want to have a square shaped body looking like SpongeBob. <laughs> After you paid all this money for your surgery, make sure you're getting your garments taken in, doing your massages, wearing your ab boards, wearing your back boards, wearing your lipo foams, and getting your garment taken in. Okay? Now, I'm gonna go to sleep because I filmed this video at um, 3.55 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm gonna head to sleep. So, love you guys.